Yo, what's up? This is going to be quick. I want to talk about the outrage and explain how it makes sense that Kefla is like around Super Saiyan God level. First of all, somehow this new information about the Patara in range is so inconsistent compared to Dragon Ball Z. Now they're saying that it increased your power like tens of times. Which is not even stronger than Super Saiyan 2. Because tens of times is basically 10 times all the way to like 90 times. That's not even above Super Saiyan 2 level. And that doesn't even make sense. Like if it's just tens of times, how come Go Tanks was able to compete with Super Boo? Or even. Vegito com competing with Buhan. Like it doesn't even make sense. According to sources, like the original sources for, for the Pertur in range, it's basically power level times power level. So let's say if Vegeta and Goku had like a power level of 100 billion. So if they use the Pertur in range, it's literally. 100 billion times 100 billion that is a huge multiplier People keep saying it don't matter. It's it's a god transformation Like stop it the Batara earrings are a high multiplier and people are trying to reach and say How come Vegito? Was in a Super Saiyan God level does that mean Vegito is Super Saiyan God level or go tanks? Like people are reaching because they're salty that these female characters just because this character is like around Super Saiyan God level in her base form even though when Goku and Vegeta when they use the Pratari earrings against Mary Zamasu their base form as Vegito Vegito's base form was like above Super Saiyan Blue level I mean, he was probably like thousands of times stronger than Super Saiyan Blue because Merge Zamatsu was stronger than Super Saiyan Blue as individuals. Because Merge Zamatsu is stronger than, than Super Saiyan Blues as individuals. I mean, seriously, like, people are reaching because Goku in the Battle of Gods, he said that even if they fuse as Vegito, there's no way they can catch up bears. And obviously, Super Saiyan God is stronger than Vegito, at least from Z. Here's the thing, guys. When Goku made that statement, he was weak. He was weaker compared to now when he made that statement. The current Goku is like thousands to millions of times stronger than he was back in the Battle of Gods. The beginning of the battle of gods and Z. Goku and Vegeta, they're way more powerful now in Super. So when they fuse the Patara earrings, which is power level times power level, it makes sense. It makes sense how Kel and Khalifa are as strong as they are now when they're fused. Because if you go back to the Champa art, Vegeta stated that Kaba, base form Kaba was on the same level as Vegeta was on the same level as himself and I watched a video of self the programmer he tried to dismiss that statement even though it was in the manga and anime because Vegeta stated in the anime as well even though the statements was in both adaptation he still tried to kind of dismiss that statement Saying that, like, there's no way they're as strong as Super Saiyan God and base. Even though there's no proof that Vegeta and Goku are, are as strong as Super Saiyan God in that base. And I know that it was a statement trying to hint that when Beer said that he made the power his own. But the thing is, that's so inconsistent. The way they portray Goku and Vegeta is so inconsistent. So you can't really truly say that. That their base is like Super Saiyan God level. I mean, if that's the case, their base should be like Super Saiyan Blue level by now. 
I mean, if they use the Batari in range, they should be wrecking. They should at least be angel level in base. If they fuse as Vegito, Vegito's base should be like angel level. He should be Dick and Jiren in his base form. Fuck that Ultra Insta shit. But I digress. Even if you want to downplay Kaba, Khalifa, and Kel, they are at least as strong as a suppressed Goku and Vegeta in base. Meaning, base Kel, base Khalifa, base Kaba, they're like as strong as Goku and Vegeta's base. Even if you want to downplay the universe is saying base Kaba, base Khalifa, and base Cal at full power in their base form is at least equal to or rival, can at least rival a suppressed base form Vegeta and Goku. They can at least rival that. Y'all have to give these guys something. You cannot crap on these guys' character. These guys are not scrubs. They're not weak. You have to at least say that. They're at least like 48 to 50% of Goku and Vegeta's base. Or 45%. Or you can say like 40% to 45%. I'm like, come on guys. You can at least give them that. It, even if it's like that, it's still saying something. Even if they're like 40 to 45 percent of base Goku and base Vegeta's level in their base form, that's still saying something because that means in their base form they're stronger than anything in Z. Even if you do try to downplay them, that's why they get these Super Saiyan forms so quick because the potential and they have the high power level for it. And I remember I was in a, a live screen hangout discussing discussing like power levels and stuff. And a dude said that basically they should like build up to these Super Saiyan forms. Like just because they have like a high power doesn't mean they should be getting these forms quick. They still should build up to it. And to me that I just can't agree with that because Say there's someone who's like God destruction level in their base form, like a Saiyan. So that Saiyan, he should still struggle, take like a thousand episodes just to unlock Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. Like, really? Come on. Just because Goku and Vegeta, just because they took like a hundred to like a thousand episodes to get these forms. And I'm not including like the God forms, I'm including like the regular Super Saiyan forms. Doesn't mean that every single Saiyan should go through the same process. But that's a different video. But going back to Kel and Khalifa, it makes sense how they're so powerful when they're fused. Because if you multiply that times each other, they're gonna be OP. I mean, look at Vegito. His base was above Super Saiyan Blue. Emerge Zamatsu in the manga. Emerge Zamatsu, he's like, he's crazy strong. He's stronger than Super Saiyan Blues as individuals. So he's like a few hundred to thousands of times stronger than Goku and Vegeta. And base Vegito tops that. So imagine if that's two characters that fuse and their base form is basically like 40 to 45 percent of Goku and Vegeta's base form. If they fuse, they're gonna be OP just like Vegito. They're gonna be at least around Super Saiyan God level. They may not be like above blue level, but they're gonna be at least Super Saiyan God level. And if you think about it, they're doing it just like they did in the manga. It seems like they're following the manga. Taking things out of the manga. At first, the way the anime portrayed Super Saiyan Blue, 
it was about like perfect key control in the calm mind but in the manga they're saying that it takes stamina and I'm like if it's about like perfect key control how come it's taking away stamina but hey, it is what it is because they mentioned it in the anime when Goku and Vegeta was fighting against the universe Nine, and I was like yo that's like in the manga and then when Goku and Hit paired up the um, fight against Dispo and that other dude Goku was was going into his Super Saiyan God form and as soon as he taps he goes into his blue form and then he went back to his God form I'm like yo that's like in the manga with Vegeta because in the manga Vegeta he uses his Super Saiyan God form to fight Goku Black after he got out of the, the time chamber he uses Super Saiyan God form to fight and as soon as he strikes he bursts into his blue form and when he gets some distance from Goku Black he goes back into his God form it's like a great way to utilize the stamina and the power Goku was doing the same thing in the anime so if you actually think about it it would really make sense for their base form merge together to be on the god level because they're taking away things from the manga and in the manga when Goku and Vegeta fuse as Vegito, Vegito's base was above Super Saiyan Blue level and I noticed no one complained about that no one said oh the power scaling is messed up no people only want to talk shit about the power scaling when it's convenient because they're being biased towards a character they don't like notice that no one's talking shit about ultimate gohan apparently gohan he can rival super saiyan blue it's, it's making it seem like well, the anime making it seem like that Gohan can rival Super Saiyan Blue. Maybe, maybe not as strong as Super Saiyan Blue, but rival it. I mean, he even made Goku use Kaioken. Well, he didn't really make him. He just went Kaioken. But you get what I'm saying. Notice no one, no one said the power scale is fucked up. Or this is an ass pull. No one said that shit when it came to Ultimate Gohan. Everybody liked the episode. The episode was good. Yeah, the episode was good, but I'm just disappointed in the hypocrisy. And here's the thing about this. The Universe Six Saiyans are strong and they have a lot of potential. Stated in both like the anime and the manga. I mean, if Goku and Vegeta didn't train with Wiz, they would get stumped by Kel and Khalifa in base. I'm just keeping it honest. But it took Goku and Vegeta to get trained with Whis plus three more years in the time chamber for them to, to surpass these Saiyans. And these Saiyans still can rival their base form in their base form, at least to suppress Goku and Vegeta. So that saying, they should be dicking Gohan in their base form, just like dicking everybody else in Z. They should be dicking Gohan. But somehow Gohan, just a few hours of training. He's just on par with Super Saiyan. Well, not on par, but rival Super Saiyan Blue. Because I hear comments, people talking shit about Kel and Khalifa, man. Well, I guess God training don't mean nothing. And experience don't mean nothing anymore. I mean, nothing means nothing in Dragon Ball. Really. And that's a different video. It's just really about the writing. I just thought it, it's bullshit. Gohan shouldn't even be stronger than Kel and Khalifa and Kaba. Even if he was like 10 times stronger than the Ultimate Gohan. He, he still wouldn't be stronger than, than Super Vegito. Because Super Vegito is like Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks level in his base. And then he can multiply that by 50 by transforming to a Super Saiyan. Go, Gohan still wouldn't beat Vegito, even if he increases power by 10. Do the math. I mean, Gohan, 
he wasn't twice as strong as his Gotenks. It was stated by well, Goten, he kind of said that he's twice as strong, but Gotenks, but Trunks, he contradicted that statement by saying he's not twice as strong, but he is strong, a little stronger. So, Ultimate Gohan is basically like 1.5 to like 1.8 times stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which would make sense because Super Bull Zork, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks into his body. And he was on the Ultimate Gohan. But I digress. But it does make sense that Kefla is just strong, guys. And especially she can increase her power by 50 to 100. But become a Super Saiyan 1 and 2. And then she can transform into that Berserker form. Which is like a God level transformation. It is a God level transformation. Because even Vegeta... And Topo, they acknowledge, and they had Jiren. He kind of like, he kind of like twitched a bit. They made hints at the transformation. They made hints of the power of the form since episode 100. I mean, the form even had the whole Pride Trooper shook. So come on, man, y'all just want to shit on these characters because you don't like the fact. That they got these forms quick and then you trying to blame feminism like it has nothing to do with feminism like I'm starting to believe that a lot of these guys who dislike these characters are sexist I'm just keeping it real this is honestly how I feel and I'm not a social justice warrior at all this is just how I feel like damn every time I look at a conversation about these characters, people say, like, feminism, feminism, like, feminism has nothing to do with these characters, so if they add Berserker to, to the equation, it's just overkill, it's a God level transformation, it may not be as strong as Super Saiyan God, but it's, it is a low tier God transformation. It makes sense. I mean, if Goku didn't use Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken, that, it, that would be bullshit. That would be bullshit if he didn't. Because of how powerful, like how much a power boost the fusion is. And if you power scale that this fusion character is OP. It would be bullshit if Goku didn't go all out against her. I even see like salty shit on Instagram. People saying if Goku loses his Super Saiyan Blue, they're going to quit the show. Well, bye. Bye bye. Don't nobody give a fuck about you not watching the show because other people going to be enjoying it while you just sitting at, at your crib being salty and other people in Japan they would really matter y'all think y'all really matter you really don't like what is all said and done the people down there in Japan matter I'm not saying that your voice don't really completely matter but what is all said and done their voice matters and this is it this is all I wanted to say I just want to explain why the fusion, why the power of, why it makes sense that Kefla is the strong. Let me know what you think and peace.